10 ways to make strangers like you instantly. Whether you admit it or not, the truth is that we all seek to be liked by strangers, family, and friends. And if there is anything we want more, it is to be liked instantly. Not only does it make us feel good about ourselves, but it also boosts our self-confidence and our ability to relate more with people. Even the toughest and strongest amongst us just deeply wishes to be loved and cared for. James A. Baldwin, an American novelist, playwright, and activist once said, Everyone wishes to be loved, but in the event, nearly no one can bear it. Everyone desires love but also finds it impossible to believe that he deserves it. Have you ever wondered why you try so hard or worry so much about what your first reaction should be when you get introduced to someone? Well, it's because you fear that they may not like you if you don't act in a certain way. So, how should you act to get strangers to like you? In this video, I'll share with you 10 ways to make strangers like you instantly. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Smile Les Brown said, Your smile will give you a positive countenance that will make people feel comfortable around you. Mother Teresa also said, Making one person smile can change the world. Maybe not the whole world, but their world. Smiling is one of the best ways to win a person's heart because it shows that you are warm and accommodating. And my friend, who doesn't like the thought of being around friendly people? Walking up to a stranger with a sincere smile on your face instantly warms the situation and makes you look friendlier and more approachable. Smiling sets a positive tone for interaction and engagement, demonstrating to the person that you are a nice person. Also according to Kylie Bax, always wear a smile sometime during the day. It makes you feel happier and younger. When you smile, it tricks your brain into releasing chemicals that make you feel happier. So the mere fact that you are both happy can make both parties get into a conversation, feeling so good and excited to talk, and perhaps bond more. 2. Make eye contact Making eye contact indicates social confidence, openness, and honesty. Faraz Kazi, an Indian author, said eye contact is way more intimate than words will ever be. Unlike when you try to avoid eye contact with someone, looking into a person's eyes will give you an instant likability boost. Here's the thing. When you avoid making eye contact, people will perceive you as someone who has something to hide, say a hidden agenda. Keeping eye contact, however, makes you appear honest and transparent enough to be associated with. 3. Say their names while conversing We all like the sounds of our names, you know? Robert C. Lee, an actor and officer of the U.S. Navy, said, The sweetest sound to anyone's ears is the sound of his own name. In his book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, Dale Carnegie said, and I quote, Remember that a person's name is to that person the sweetest and most important sound in any language. Using a person's name during a conversation shows them that you were paying attention when they were introduced and you were genuinely interested in them. This will make them feel more connected and friendly towards you. Also, repeating it a couple more times during your conversation will help you remember it because you don't want a situation where you meet them again and you begin to stutter because you can't recall their name. 4. Let your body language reflect openness. Peter Drucker, an Austrian-born American management consultant and author, said the most important thing in communication is hearing what isn't said. Body language says a lot more than our mouths, so it's important to reflect openness when communicating with people, especially strangers. Remember, action speaks louder than words. So, even small gestures, twitches and stances of your body language can guide a person to liking or disliking you. 5. Get them to talk about themselves. The same way everyone likes the sound of their name, they like the sound of their voice, especially if they have to talk about themselves. So, even if you are nervous and you are trying at all costs to dismiss the awkward silence that lies between you two because you don't have anything to say just yet, don't make the mistake of making the conversation about you. Instead, get them to talk about themselves by asking them thoughtful questions and listening actively in return. 
If you can, subtly keep the conversation going in a direction that reveals what they're truly passionate about in life. Then stay on that subject for as long as possible. Dale Kaneji said, you can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. Six, don't be pushy. This is a tricky one. Because you want to get them to talk about themselves doesn't mean you should get pushy and begin to pry into their private affairs. Be gentle and flow more with the conversation instead of trying too hard to come up with the next question or subject of discussion. Seven, ask questions. It's human nature to be helpful and we all have a great desire to share what we know. So when people appear to need our help, we tend to like them more because we like to be placed in a position when we are available to provide answers and help others. Eight, listen to them more. Try not to make the conversation one-sided by either talking too much or talking too little. However, it is advisable to do more listening than talking and make sure you listen to them with a genuine interest in what they are saying. Not because you are trying to obey the rule of talking little and listening more if you want to be liked by strangers. Of course, they'll be able to tell the difference between both. Likeable people are always listeners who are curious to genuinely learn new things. 9. Stay positive. Positivity is contagious, and in a world filled with so much negativity here and there, everyone is looking to connect with people who will make them feel nothing short of better than themselves and their surrounding circumstances. So, make a conscious effort to avoid making negative sentences nor complaints about one thing or the other. 10. Match their common experiences. It's a known fact that we like people who are like us, and when you find a common ground between you and the person you just met, it becomes easy for them to trust and like you because you understand who we are and where we've been. So, without being or sounding inauthentic, do all you can to relate. Listen carefully and relate how you experience something similar. This will make you likable. Please note, do not try too hard to make things up. Otherwise, you'll end up sounding fake and they will dislike you. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.